political showdown in St. Charles County pits the Wentzville School District against the Darden Prairie Mayor and Board of Aldermen. The two are battling over the new Prairie Encore apartment development. New at 10, here's Fox 2's Andy Banker on claims of dirty politics. The vision, turning mostly vacant land at Bryan and Fizey Roads into 190 apartments surrounded by restaurants and shops, funded with $68 million in bonds with the developer Calico paying no property taxes for 12 years. Most people building and already living in nearby homes are absolutely against it. You kind of visualize it from different points around it. You kind of picture a four-story apartment building. It's kind of pretty much in disregard with the people who are going to be close by and have to live with it. It will not be long before we will be coming back to our voters. Wentzville School Superintendent Dr. Danielle Tormala blasted Alderman over the deal last month and was back at City Hall today after the school board passed a resolution in opposition. Without the tax abatements, they won't do the project. The city administrator points out the development would generate about $83,000 a year right away from taxes apartment residents pay on their vehicles, plus a projected $2.5 million more the first seven years after the tax breaks end. We're also going to see a significant amount of road improvements to both improve safety and walkability and bikeability, everything along that corridor. Still, residents question holding a special meeting to approve the deal tomorrow when an opponent just won an aldermanic seat in a landslide and is set to take office next week. In the election results kind of speak for themselves. The challenger was 373. The incumbent who voted for it came in with 39 votes. I think that's a pretty clear kind of repudiation of the whole concept. And that may end up being the ultimate question here. Should the new board of aldermen or the current board decide this issue? The meeting is tomorrow night, Darden Prairie City Hall, 6 o'clock in Darden Prairie. Andy Banker, Fox 2 News.